So now that I've shown you how to add information to a photo, let's look at ways that you can actually look at photos that have information added to them. So one of the really fun things that you can do is since we've been looking on the location view here, I'm going to show you our location view as the main section of the website. So you can see here that not only does this show you listing of different locations that you have photos added, but it also gives you the entire world map of photos that you may have. And everything is interactive. So if I wanted to click on this section here, it breaks it down into different areas now. So as we get closer, you can see we have some that are over here. Um, we have some that look like they were taken in Germany, some that were in Italy. And so what I'd be able to do is just keep clicking into these. And so you can see here that we have some photos taken right here that are in the greater London area. I'm going to go and click in this now because we keep drilling down further and further. And the really fun thing is that I can see that this was taken in London and we have a more current photo from 2012. And then I can also see that we have a photo that we'd scanned in and plotted. And so this was also taken on London. And the, the fun thing is that, you know, this is like a snapshot of time traveling because this is great grandfather and this is great grandson. And it's fun to be able to see them from the same location. Another thing that I want to be able to show you is our people view, since we're talking about people. And so you can see here that on our people page, we have all of the different people who are in our account. And you can see how many photos are associated with them. We also have facial recognition. So if you wanted to see, let's say this person here that has been recognized, I know that this is an uncle of mine and he's already in my database. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that person, Uncle Morris, to that and I'm going to tag him. If we didn't already have him as a contact in my database, then I would be able to add him later on um, and create a new profile for him. That is a fun way you can see now we've tagged this to him and so you see all of his photos that are tagged to him here in one place. I'm going to go back into the people section um, to show you a couple other things. This is like any other page where you can order things um, by last name, first name, lots of different ways that depending on what you're looking for and how you're trying to find people or information, we give you lots of different ways to be able to sort that. So you can play around with that and see whatever works best for you for what you're looking for. Um, you can also add a brand new person from here and I'm going to show you how to do this. So this is just a basic profile information and I'm going to make up a person. We're going to call this person Joseph and Joseph James and maybe his middle name is John. Joseph, John, maybe Jonathan. That has a better ring to it, right? Jonathan. Joseph Jonathan James and his nickname is Joey. Uh, there's no maiden name for him because he is not female. Um, but if you have, um, you know, ancestors, which I'm sure you will, who have made names, you would be able to put that here. Um, let's pretend that, oh, Joseph was born in, <laughs> let's say 1903. November 25th, we'll say that is when he was born. So I'm able to add that to him. And then if I want, I can also set a birth location. So I can look at, let's say he was born in Chicago. And I know I already have that in my database. I can add one that I already have existing or you can certainly add a brand new location. Um, you can also add their gender. He is a male and if I wanted to write some informa information about him I would be able to do that right here. Um, if he has passed on I can also add in that date um, of when he has passed on. So that's how you can create a brand new profile for a person. Now I want to show you one that has been created a while back that has a lot of good information. So here we have Clinton DeWitt Firestone and all of his photos are right here in one place which is very helpful. Um, we also have every album that's tagged to him in every location but something that's really particularly fun is we also have his family. And so you can see here we have his parents, his grandparents, his siblings and also his children. 
and all of that is interactive. So if I wanted to click through, if I were, you know, sitting with my family or my kids and I wanted to explain to them about their great grandfather or their great great grandfather and show them some pictures, I'd just be able to click in here and now we're on his profile. Something else that's important to know about the profile view is that if you wanted to make any edits or delete a person, if for some reason you had somebody in there that was brought in from a, a resource and that you sunk with and you just didn't need them inside your account, you could delete that person. You can also edit the person's details if for some reason you found out that perhaps something was either missing or maybe something had been misrecorded, you would be able to edit it right there. So I wanted to show you that functionality. So that is the people view of MemoryWeb.